Instead of working collectively to address the pressing challenges of our time, we have grown further apart as geopolitical tensions and mistrust permeate our relations. Words spoken by Minister of International Relations, Dr. Naledi Pando, when she delivered South Africa's country statement to the United Nations General Assembly in New York last night. I now give the floor to Her Excellency Naledi Pandor. Pandor echoed the UN Secretary General's sentiment that global solidarity was in short supply in a world in desperate need of more of it. Global solidarity is also required to meet other pressing challenges such as energy and food insecurity, climate change, and the devastation caused by conflicts including the existential threat of nuclear weapons. Up to now, instead of working collectively to address these challenges, we have grown further apart as geopolitical tensions and mistrust permeate our relations. We should, however, move forward in solidarity, united in efforts to address our common global challenges to ensure sustainable peace and development. She called for greater investments to strengthen public health systems in Africa that must produce thousands more professional health workers and for increased mobilization of resources and capabilities to strengthen pandemic response and preparedness, warning that it would be a terrible indictment on all leaders if future pandemics found the poorest as unprepared as they were for COVID-19. She argued for fairer trade policies that provide greater opportunities for developing countries and then touched on the massive challenge of energy security in her own country. South Africa, like many other developing countries, faces huge development challenges, including in our energy sector. We need to together collectively address global energy shortages including by deploying innovative solutions that are cheaper, cleaner, and more accessible. Working with international partners, South Africa is developing its Just Energy Transition Plan to significantly reduce harmful emissions in our country. We are working on an expanded green economy intervention that is gaining significant momentum calling for long-standing issues to be resolved, Security Council reform, for sanctions against Cuba and Zimbabwe to be lifted, on the Palestinian question for Israel to be held accountable for what she called its destructive actions that significantly impair the two-state solution. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.